This is my retire early on $1,032 per month on Chiago Island in the Philippines. I've brought you all over the world and shown you my feet on the ground videos of the best places to retire early for pennies in paradise. I have over 200 reports available at vagabondbuddha.com already. Today we bring you to a hippie surfer paradise in the Philippines. This remote white sand beach island will not make the top 10 retirement spots for most Western retirees for reasons I will share in a moment. But since old surfers never die, they just start riding longer boards, older surfers must consider this place for retirement and everyone else must come here to experience some of the best reasonably priced vacation destinations in the world. Okay, here are some of our estimated expenses. Groceries. One of the big, biggest mistakes you can make living internationally on a tight budget is to buy groceries imported from your home country or other parts of the world. Something you would pay $1 for at home could easily cost you $3 here. Remember, it's fancy foreign food once it is shipped internationally. You won't be able to make that mistake very easily while on Chargo Island. You see, they don't have the large expat grocery stores that you will see in other parts of the Philippines. So you'll be forced to shop in more local style open air markets here. This means you'll be buying for your fruits, vegetables, and proteins from small family owned stores that are not importing that expensive stuff. So although it is much cheaper than imported processed foods, you'll have to know how to cook to prepare these Philippine source foods. By shopping like locals in this way, we estimate around $280 per month for fresh daily foods, which we would prepare at home ourselves. That is how we would manage our grocery budget. Restaurants. One of the problems with living in Chicago would be all the great restaurants they have here. You'd be tempted to eat in all the great restaurants more often, which could challenge your restaurant budget. You see, Chargo Island is a foreign tourist destination, not just for surfers, but for vloggers, backpackers, and others touring around Southeast Asia. So there is a large demand for healthy hippie foods, including vegan and vegetarian foods, which is not as common in other smaller islands in other parts of the Philippines. So higher demand from euros and dollars means prices tend to be higher than local dishes and local restaurants here in Chargo. So although you'll find meals in local Philippine restaurants for around $1.50 to $3 US, the meals where you will see foreigners eating run more in the range of $3 to $6 per person. If you are new in the Philippines, you'll be tempted to eat in the more expensive restaurants until you learn the local dishes. So how do you learn the local dishes and ingredients so you can reduce your food budget over time. Here's how we do it. We go for local style restaurants adventures a few times per week for the first few months to identify what the locals eat. Finding favorites in local restaurants helps us stay on budget as follows. When I go out to eat, I'm paying local restaurant prices. Second, when I shop in open air markets and more local style markets, I learn what local ingredients to buy so I can try preparing local dishes at home. You can often find videos on how to prepare local style dishes on YouTube. So when we go shopping, we know what local style ingredients to buy instead of always looking for imported ingredients. So understanding the local diet helps me save money when I go out to eat. Plus it teaches me how to save money on local ingredients when I prepare foods at home. If you're wondering why other foreign retirees report spending two and three times as much on groceries and restaurants, they're often eating only in foreign restaurants and buying only imported brands from home. So if we retired in Chicago and enjoyed both the local and foreign restaurants, but ate most of our meals at home, we estimate that we would spend about $160 per month on restaurants. If you would like to learn how I fired my boss and traveled the world for 16 years, and how I pay for things, grab a free copy of my ebook. Okay, rents. If you come to Chicago and look for a place on Airbnb for a month, you could easily pay $500 to $1,200 per month for an apartment 
including utilities and internet. If you're looking for Western style accommodations, it could be at the higher end of that range or even more. There's nothing wrong with that if you have the money and like the convenience of something that feels more like home. I also understand that you need somewhere to go when you first land in a country. I do too. So I book a place on Airbnb, Agoda, or Booking.com for about four to five days. That gives us a place to go when we first land, and it puts our feet on the ground in our target neighborhood. But after that, if we're looking for something more local feeling for long term, say six to 12 months where we can save some money, we would spend the next two to three days going doing what locals do to find cheaper rents. It isn't always easy, but we can usually cut the online rent in half with our apartment rental process link provided. So we would put our feet on the ground in General Luna and start walking neighborhoods looking for a landlord that was looking for something longer term. Based upon what we learned, we estimate that we would be able to get a more local place suitable for us for around $400 per month plus utilities. Okay, utilities and internet. We estimate about $50 per month uh, for utilities and $50 per month for internet. Transportation, if we lived in Central uh, General Luna, as discussed above, almost everything we would be walkable for us. So we would get our exercise just going about our daily routine every day. We could also buy an old scooter or an old bicycle if we wanted to get around faster. So we estimate that our transportation would average around $40 per month. Cell data. We paid about 10 US uh, for our smart SIM card, which included 22 gigabytes of data per month uh, for 10 bucks. Laundry, it costs us five per week to drop off and pick up our laundry for washing, dry, and fold. So we estimate about $20 per month for laundry drop off and pick up. Water, reverse osmosis water in 20 liter bottle jugs delivered to our house would be about 60 pesos per month per jug or about $22 per month for RO water. Alcohol, which of course is optional. San Miguel Pilsen Grande beers are at 160 pesos, which is about $3 each. The Grande is about two beers, so beers are about $1.50 each. You could easily pay twice as much in bars and restaurants, so we would drink mostly at home. We estimate about $130 per month for the two of us for uh, alcohol. Okay, entertainment, optional of course. We estimate that we would spend about 200 per month for entertainment, which includes uh, beach days, tours, hiking, and that sort of thing. Okay, here's the summary. Chago, uh, rent 400, groceries 280, utilities 50, restaurants 160, cell data 10, laundry 20, water 22, internet 50, transportation 40. If you add all those recurring expenses, you're at $1,032 per month. If you add optional alcohol, that would put you at 1,162. And if you add 200 for entertainment, that would put you at 1,362 per month. Not all of your potential expenses are listed in the above table. Visit Numbio for the Philippines and add anything you spend money on in your home country each month that is not mentioned in the above table. This is our estimated cost of living if the two of us moved here on a tight budget. To fully understand what it would cost you to live here, you must do an exploratory visit and put your feet on the ground. Our costs of living are generally much lower than a new traveler's because we're great bargain hunters, but there are a few people that are able to live cheaper than we do. Never move anywhere until you have visited first personally to verify the living costs for your lifestyle and needs. I'm not guaranteeing these prices. These are just my notes and estimates from the time of my visit in this post. Your costs will likely drastically be different depending on your lifestyle and the time since this post. The full report on retiring early in Chargo is available at the first link in the notes below this YouTube video, including restaurants, groceries, things to do, a nightlife map, where we stayed, visa information, walkability, weather, hospital, social considerations, expat communities, real estate, visas, 
plus our overall retirement desirability score. Thanks for reviewing my report. Retire early on 1032 US dollars per month in Chago Island in the Philippines. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake, the YouTube channel for vagabondbuddha.com. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? Hey, if you liked our video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Any of that would help our business. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Click the link in the notes below this video to get a copy of this content. Plus, grab a free copy of my ebook, How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 13 Years. While you're there, check out our catalog of retired cheap reports all over the world and our hobby income course that we just released. Thanks so much.